Okay, today I'll be making a ghost uh, application. What will happen is a ghost will pop up on the screen and you have to turn on the light bulb to make it go away. So first I need to open a new project by going to File, New, and Project. And if you've already not downloaded Visual Studio or another version of it, I have added a link to the side of the page. So click Windows Application and OK. So now we have a blank form that should pop up in a second. And so we want to widen it a little and bring it down a little. So I need you to get two buttons and then two picture boxes. Okay. So take the other one. Oh, it's up here. Okay, so you want to widen them a little and I need you to go download a picture of a light bulb that's on and a light bulb that's off. So I already have one, so I'm just going to open it by going to image and then finding it. And then you click local resource import and then a browse thing should pop up. So I'm going to go to my pictures and I have a picture of a light bulb that's on. So I click open and it loads it. So I got that picture and I need to get the other one of it off. So, go to image again, local resource, import, and my off picture. So now I got two. And you can size it down so it fits and all of that. Okay, so now what we need to do is add, put, place the buttons out of the way and add two more picture box. I mean, one more picture box. So we take that picture box. And now you need to go get, I need to go get a picture of a ghost. Okay, so now since I have a picture of a ghost downloaded, go to image on it, on the new picture box, go to import, local resource, and get my ghost. So, what I want to do now is sort everything out. So what I want to do is I want to put the, put the picture of the light bulb where I want it, and then put the picture of it on, the light bulb on over it. Now I want to put the picture of the ghost above, and that's good. And it doesn't matter if you see the bottom of the other light bulb because it's going to be invisible. So what you need to do now is make the the ghost invisible by going to its properties and turning visible to false. Now you want to take the pit the light bulb that's on and make its visible to false also. But keep the uh, off picture bulb, I mean light bulb, uh, keep it visible. So now what you want to do is add some programming. Oh yeah, but for, before we do that we need to add a timer. And just click on the screen somewhere. So now that we have the timer, we need to make it so the ghost comes at a certain time. So since it's in milliseconds, uh, a second is 1,000, so I'm going to make it about 3,000 seconds. That's three seconds. And now we turn it to enabled to true, and we change its name to light bulb on. Okay. So now that it's named and everything is on, we need to add, so button one will be the on button. So we type, so when we turn it on, we want the light bulb that's there to be, so it's picture box one. So we type picture box one, one dot visible, and make sure it's a capital V or else it will not work. And then equals true, and then semicolon. Now enter down and do picture box two dot visible e equals false and then picture box three dot visible equals false so what that's pretty much saying is when you push that button the light bulb's gonna go on and the other one will go off and you won't see it and the picture box of the ghost will go away so now that we have that done we go to the off switch, click it, and we make picture box one dot visible equals false. 
Now we make picture box two dot visible equals true. And then picture box three dot visible. Actually, we don't even need to do that because it will just uh, disappear when you turn on the light bulb. So now that that's done, uh, we need to name the button to light on and the other one to light off. Okay. Oh, I for you can't do a space when you are naming a button. Okay. So now we take the light bulb on timer and double click on it and make picture box three dot visible equals true. Okay, I just went to check my code, make sure it all works, and I actually had to correct a few errors. I wrote visible. It should be with an I. So now that it's all working, we can just change some stuff around, change button two's text to light off, and now let's run it by pressing F5 or the start button at the top. Okay, so as you can see, you got a blank light bulb. And when the ghost appears, click light on, and it will go on. But as long as the light's on, uh, the ghost will only go away once. See? It's just a cool little game. And just change it up a little, make the form name. Ghost. Uh, or light on or something. I don't know. Just mess around with it, and that is the application. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video, and keep on programming.